the kingdom of Murtana, united by King Robar II. During the long years of his reign, he was able to defeat all foes of his realm. All except one. the orcs took its toll and the prisoners of the realm were to pay the price. The king needed swords for his army and every man guilty of a crime, no matter how insignificant, was forced to work in the ore mines of Corinus. To make it impossible for them to escape, the king sent out the best magicians of the kingdom to create a magic barrier around the entire valley. I was one of them. Uh, something disturbed the delicate structure of magic. We were trapped inside our own barrier. One second of negligence was enough for the prisoners. Corinus was now under the control of the convicts. The king had no choice. He had to negotiate. He needed the ore. Month after month, the king supplied everything the prisoners needed. Month after month, they brought the ore to the edge of the barrier in exchange. Until the present day, another convict was brought to the cliff. He did not know, but he would change everything. In the name of King Robar II, bearer of the scepter of Verant, I sentence this convict to... Stop! Convict, I've got an offer to make you. This letter must reach the leader of the Magicians of Fire. You're wasting your time. You may choose your own reward. They'll give you anything you ask for. Very well. I'll take your letter. On one condition. Spare me the rest of his nonsense. How dare you! Keep silent! Right. Send him in. Welcome to the colony! That's enough. Leave him alone. And now, scrap! Get up. I'm Diego. I'm... I'm not interested in who you are. You've just arrived. I look after the new arrivals. That's all for now. If you plan to stay alive for a while, you should talk to me. But of course, I won't keep you from choosing your own destruction. Well, what do you think? Why did you help me? Because you needed help. Otherwise, Bullet and his boys might have killed you. And I couldn't just stand by and watch. Because I came all this way to make a suggestion. A suggestion? Yes. After this little incident with Bullet and his guys, you should be aware now that you need protection. Everyone who arrives here has a choice. There are three camps in the colony, and you'll have to join one of them. I'm here to show the new ones that the old camp is the best place for them. I have a letter for the High Magician of the Circle of Fire. I was given it by a mage shortly before they threw me in here. You're lucky I can't afford to show my face around the mages anymore. Anyone else would gladly slit your throat for that letter. That's because the mages pay their couriers a lot, and most people here don't have anything. If I were you, I'd shut up until I met one of the mages. Although in your situation, that's not likely to happen. Why not? The mages are in the castle in the old camp. Only Gomez's people are allowed to enter the castle. Who's Gomez? Gomez is the most powerful ore baron. He's the boss of the old camp, the most powerful man in the colony. Okay, what do I need to know about this place? We call it the colony. 
You'll know already that we produce ore for the king. Well, at least we do, in the old camp. It's the biggest and most powerful of the three camps. Gomez and his guys control the camp, and thereby the whole ore trade. Once a month, the king sends us everything we need. We've got the old guy in our grip, you understand? He sends us wine, bread, meat, weapons, everything. You can also get some of it. All you have to do is join Gomez's people. Tell me more about the barrier. There isn't much to tell. It's impenetrable. What happens if I just walk out of here? The last one who tried that reached the other side a dead man. This damn barrier lets you in, but you'll never get out of it. If there's a way out, I'll find it. You're already in a rush to get out of here, but you've only just arrived. We'll meet in the old camp. Thanks for your help. Let's assume I want to join his people. What do I need to do? At the gate of the castle, you'll find a man called Thoris. Tell him Diego sent you. You don't look as though you'd just let anyone get into the castle. Only Gomez's men are allowed in the castle. I want to work for Gomez. Oh, yeah? And what makes you think Gomez will be interested in having you work for him? Diego says you decide who Gomez is interested in. Huh? If Diego thinks you're okay, why doesn't he take care of you? Look, let me explain. Diego's gonna test you. If he thinks you're good enough, I'll let you into the castle to see Gomez. I'll talk to Diego. Just arrived, have you? I'm Grim. I haven't been here for long either. I was thrown in with the load before you. What's life like here? Easy going. As long as you pay your share of protection money to the guards. What do I have to do if I want to get admitted to this camp? Well, first of all, you have to become a shadow. Therefore, you have to find somebody who supports you, somebody who explains everything to you, and takes responsibility for you. If I was you, I'd try to keep close to Diego. I did it like that. He's quite all right. He'll make you take the test of faith. That's different from everybody. What was your test of faith? I can't tell you, man. You have to be silent about things like that here. I've talked to Thoris. And what did he say? He says that I can join the old camp if you think that I'm good enough. Looks like I have myself a new job. Do we start right now? First, there are a few things you should know. If you want to join the camp, you'll have to earn some brownie points. There are a few influential people in the outer ring. Most of them are shadows. If you manage to impress them, it'll earn you a few brownie points. Then you'll have to stand the test of faith. Besides, there are a lot of skills every new arrival has to learn. The more you learn, the more valuable you'll be for us. Where do I find the important people? Well, you're looking at one of them. Then there's Thoris. You already know him. As for the others, you'll have to find that out by yourself. If you don't manage to do that, you don't belong here anyway. Just go through the outer ring and talk to people. Then you'll find out who's important. Hey, you! Are you talking to me? I'm warning you, people like you can get into trouble awfully quick around here. And most of the guys they chuck in here are bastards. They think they can do what they like to you, but we won't allow that. Gomez wants some peace in the camp, and we guards make sure he gets it. But it's a job that doesn't come cheap. That's why I'm asking you for some ore. Look on it as a kind of token of friendship. You help us, and we'll help you. If you get in trouble, we'll be there for you. You mean you want me to pay protection money? No thanks. I can take care of myself. Have it your own way, kid. You'll soon regret turning down a friendly offer. Bastards not to run through my hut. What's your problem? Leave me alone, man. Everyone's a problem with me. It all started when I built my hut. Don't build your hut close to the ditch, they said. 
But none of these bastards told me what would happen if I still did it. When I came back from the mine a few days ago, I had a second door. Those pigs, I hate them. I can't tell you how much I hate them. Now everybody runs through my hut. Every idiot. Hey you, new here are you? You better know that it's no good getting into trouble with the guards. When they want protection money, you better pay. Otherwise, half the camp will be against you. What do you want? To warn you. Bloodwind paid some people. They're gonna do you in. I saw how he talked to people like Herrick over there. And God knows who else he hired. Decided which camp you want to join? No, what do you think? Well, it depends. Each camp has its advantages, I guess. Until you've made your decision, you can stay here. A hut just became available. No, no, just leave it. I'm not interested. You want to be on your own for a while, do you? Uh, I understand. I'll stay in the background. There are some people who constantly try to beat me up. Horrible guys from the new camp. Real cutthroats. The next time, I'll tell them that they'll have you to deal with in the future. Then they'll be dead scared. Get lost. Sure. Have you got something to eat for me? Since I'm some sort of visitor, it'd be polite if you gave me something. That's manners. My friends in Karina's taught me that. <laughs> they really liked me. This is real fun. Thanks for taking me with you. We could do that more often. There's loads of more time left today. That'll be fun. <laughs> It looks as if you knew what you were doing. Nobody ain't complained yet, but that would be a bad idea anyway. Every idiot here needs a sword, and that is what they get from me. I'd like to try working here as well. Ah, but don't you think that you can make great blades? What do I have to do? Okay, take the steel and hold it into the fire. Then you have to lay the red hot steel across the anvil. When you're finished, you put the hot blade into the water bucket over there to temper it. The cool blade finally has to be sharpened on the grindstone. However, you'll need some things for that. I could sell them to you.
story after all. What's your job here? I'm in charge of the arena. I organize the bets, hire new fighters. You know. I want to join the camp. Can you help me? I might be able to, if you manage to impress me. Some of the best fighters from all three camps come here to compete against each other. Challenge one of them to a fight. I'll watch you, and if you're good, maybe I'll think about it. Hi, I'm new here. I'm Kurgo. I fight in the arena. Tell me about the outside world. It's been over a month since I heard anything from outside. I'd like to challenge you to a fight in the arena. What? But I don't want to fight. Why don't we just have a beer together and talk about the outside world? Okay, give me a beer then. Here you are. Thanks. I'm afraid I can't tell you much about the outside world. They kept me locked away in a dark hole for almost two months before throwing me in here. That's a shame. Oh well, never mind. You're still looking pretty good for someone who's been locked up for two months. I'd like it to stay that way too. Then why do you insist on fighting one of us? I want to get acknowledged in the camp. By Scotty, you mean? Hmm, he's one of the most influential men in the outer ring. You might be able to impress him by defeating me. If you still want to fight me, let me know. But I won't enjoy knocking you out cold. I've talked to a few people. Scotty has told me he's anxious to see how you come off against Kurgo. I want to improve my handling of one-handed weapons. Can you teach me something? Yes. Let's go on. Beginners often tend to hold one-handed weapons with both hands. Now, you better not even start getting into that habit. It'll only get in the way. Before you can improve your technique, you'll have to learn how to hold the weapon right. Hold the weapon with one hand. Blade up and keep swinging it. You have to learn to harmonize your weapon's swing with your own movements. That'll make you faster in the attack. If you keep in mind what I've taught you, your fights will be more elegant and a lot faster in future. Well done. A neat performance. Your strength has increased a lot. You're better than that already. My esteemed ore barons, honored guards, shadows, and diggers! Come on. It gives me Come on. great honor to present Turn him over. Right. Let's get to it. Him over now. May the best man win. Turn him over! Yes! Come on! Come on! Is that all you can do? I want to see blood! Give it to me! want to join the camp, you need people to speak up for you. If Diego asks me about you, I'll vote in your favor. You are a good man. I'll tell Diego if about you it. you want to join the camp, it's an advantage to be a good yes. fighter. You've learned something which makes you quite useful And you knocked us. him down. I have to admit that wasn't bad going. He's always been known as one of the toughest fighters. I am deeply impressed. You've found enough people to speak in your favor. But you still have to pass the test of faith. What's the test of faith? You have to go to the old mine. There you'll meet a guy called Ian. He'll give you a list. This list is important. It contains all the items the guys in the mine need from us. They'll get the stuff with the next convoy. No problem. Yes, 
there is a problem. The new camp must not get that list. Like I said, the list is important. If you do it right, you'll get much further. If the list is so important, why should Ian give it to me? Because you're going to tell him Diego sent you. I'll tell him. There are a lot of wild beasts between the camps. You'd be mad to walk around without a weapon. Go to Graham. He's a cartographer. Tell him that I sent you and that you need a map. It'll show you the way to the mine. Right in the middle of the main shaft, next to the storeroom. But you need to be careful. There are many mine crawlers there as well. Oh, one more thing. You know Thoris, don't you? Forget it. There's just one person who has the say in here, and that's Ian. He's the boss. If you get into trouble with him, you'll be in trouble with us all. The guards will never get me. What do you mean? I only work when the guards are nearby, or they can see me. Otherwise, I just hang around here. Don't they get suspicious? Yeah, well, of course I dig less ore than all the others do. It's not always enough, so I have to do a bit of trading. If you need or hear something, come back to me. I'm sure I'll be able to help. What's in the storeroom? Some chests that we store supplies in. The keys disappeared, though. Disappeared? I bet Aleph was involved. That guy can't be trusted. Do you know anything about the key for the chest and the storage shed? Well, that depends. On how much ore I'll give you? You learn fast. Is 15 ore all right with you? 15 ore? Uh, I don't know anything about a key. 30 ore should be enough. All right. I happen to have the key here. Listen, Ian and the others are sitting at the bottom having grilled meat. What? Without me? Well, I'll collect my share. Hmm. Are you Ian, the boss of the mine? Yeah, I'm Ian. And this is my mine. So don't touch or break anything. Isn't that Gomez's mine? Yeah, of course, this is the mine of the old camp. But in here, there's only one boss, and that's me. I'm here to collect the list for the camp. Anybody could say that. Get lost. Diego sent me. All right, here's the list. Tell him to hurry up with the deliveries. I've heard that the ore has magical qualities. Weapons forged from it don't break. Their blades are sharper than usual ones. Unfortunately, the magic powers of the ore vanish during the smelting process. But even without the magic powers, weapons made from this ore are extremely resistant and do more damage than normal weapons. I'll keep that in mind. I have some work to do, and don't keep my boys from doing their work. Aren't you the guy who wants to join the camp? What if I am? I could help you. And how? There are two guys sitting around outside the camp. One of them has stolen something from the ore barons. It's a precious amulet, which should have arrived with the last convoy. If we attack them together, we should manage. I couldn't do it on my own. Why do you say? What will happen when we have the amulet? That's an easy one. I'll return it and get the reward. I'll tell them you helped me. Then you'll be in Gomez's good books for sure. No, it's either 50-50 or you can do it on your own. Okay, okay, 50-50. So, can I count on you? Count me in. Okay, let's do it then.
So, here we are. Far away from your friend Diego. We're to send you regards from Bloodwin. the list from Ian. Well done. Go to Thoris. I've already told him everything. He'll let you go to see Gomez. What do I have to do when I meet Gomez? Gomez's decisions are made from gut instinct. He'll look at your mug and then he'll make up his mind if you can join. From now on you'll have to get by on your own. Make the best of it. Good luck. Do it. I want to go in. Are you kidding? Why don't you ask Thoris? I will. If you're lying, you're as good as dead. Are you saying I can go in? Yeah, get moving. What can I do for you? I want to see Gomez. Thoris says I'm to be taken on as a shadow. We're always on the lookout for good men. You seem to have your wits about you. It might be okay. I'll take you to Gomez. Follow me. And don't touch anything. If you don't show him some respect, I'll take pleasure in teaching it to you, personally. I have come to offer my services. You just come marching in here and expect me to concern myself with you, you worm? What makes you think we're interested in your services? I have stood the test of faith, and Thoris says I'm worth it. You wouldn't have gotten in here alive if that weren't so. I hope that's not the best you can do. There's only blackheads around here on the lookout for newcomers to pass their jobs on to instead of doing them themselves. There's a fine line between bravery and stupidity. You shall have your chance. Does that mean I'm in? You bet it does. You're one of us now, kid. Raven will fill you in on everything. Gomez says I'm in. Great. In that case, you can prove your worth with a first task. What do you want me to do? We do a lot of trade with the Brotherhood. That doesn't mean to say we trust them. Go to the swamp. When you get to the camp, keep your ears open. Anything you pick up might be useful for us. The more you find out, the better. It'll take a bit of tact, if you know what I mean. Keep cool. I'm not going to get them angry. I knew you'd understand. You may not cross this doorstep unless Master Caristo allows it. I'm looking for the High Magician of the Circle of Fire. That is Caristo. What do you want with him? I have a letter for the High Magician of the Circle of Fire. A magician gave me the letter shortly before they threw me into the colony. Show me the letter. Mm -hmm. This letter is addressed to Zardis. What's so exciting about that? Zardis has not been a servant of Innos for ages. He left us some years ago and turned towards black magic. He lives in a tower in the middle of the Orc land and concentrates on his studies. He said he would go his own way to find out what went wrong with the barrier. Wait here. I'll be back in a moment. Caristo was beside himself with delight. He said that you may go to Torres and choose your reward. Great service. I've done it. At last I belong to the camp. Congratulations, kid. You'd better stick close to Diego from now on. Greetings, stranger. You're treading on holy ground. This is the Brotherhood of the Sleeper. What brings you here? I'm new here. I wanted to have a look at your camp. Strangers are welcome here. I'm Lester. I take care of the strangers who arrive here. What do you want to know? What can you tell me about the Sleeper? The Sleeper's a divine creature. He causes visions, at least to the gurus. We pray to him, for he will give us freedom. And you believe that? Hey, I've been inside the barrier for two years. Do you know how long two years can be? You can't imagine what I'm willing to believe and do just to get out of here again. Tell me about the guilds. The gurus form the highest guild. 
they are the spirit of this camp, for they have great power. The Templars use their spiritual power in battle. They have an indomitable willpower. You should never get into trouble with them. As for myself, I am a novice. We pray to the sleeper and do all the work in the camp. Some of the novices are allowed to join the gurus. But to get that far, you need to study for many years. What do you know about the weed? The weeds have a tranquilizing and relaxing effect. We trade them for goods from the old camp. And we use them to recruit new people as well. The result is, of course, that some people only join us for the weed. Well, at least they help us with the work in the camp. Gor Kalom urgently needs new swamp weed for his experiments. Our gatherers are working day and night. Go to them and take their entire harvest to Kalom's alchemy lab. Where exactly can I find the gatherers? I have not yet given you permission to address me. Pray to the sleeper that he may pardon your sacrilege. And now leave. Your mission is of extreme importance. Dalaran sent me. I'm to collect all the swamp weed. Good. Then I don't need to go myself. Here, take it. But don't forget to go to Viren on the other side of the swamp if you haven't been there yet. Otherwise, your lobe might be a bit small and people might think you'd sold the other half of it. <laughs> Balaron sent me. I'm to take the whole harvest to Cologne. You think it's that easy, do you? Anybody can turn up like that. Balaron sent me and whoosh, the whole lot of the weeds were gone. But Balaron really has sent me. Sure. Go see him and ask if you don't believe me. Here, take the harvest and take it to Korakala. If he complains and says it's not enough, tell him to move his butt here himself. To give him an idea how much hard work it is. I'm delivering the daily swamp weed harvest. Ah, give it to me. And now get out of my sight. I'm glad you're here. I have news for you. Good news, I hope. Our Brotherhood's planning a really big thing. What are you planning? To break out? The Gurus are trying to contact the Sleeper. But they need something to unite their powers. They need a magical object. A focus. What's that got to do with me? Talk to Eberian. He's the most powerful man around here. This is the opportunity to attain his favor. Where do I find him? Go to the temple. He rarely leaves it. Stop! You can only enter the Temple Hill if you have a Guru's permission. The novice Lester sent me. I shall offer my services to Iberian. Lester is trustworthy, I know him. You may pass. I heard you were looking for something. That's right. We need a magical focus. Why is the focus so important? It is a magical object which can concentrate our spiritual powers. It is one of the five focus stones used by the mages to erect the barrier. In a vision I saw that we need to use the power of the focus. My vision was a sign from the sleeper. We can reach him with the focus. Sounds like quite an interesting vision. We sent the novice Nairas to collect the focus, but he hasn't come back yet. You could check up for me what has happened. Where shall I begin to search? Leave the camp and go up to the tall cliff. Go beyond the forest until you can see the sea. There, you'll find the focus. Scram! You have no business to be here. I'm searching for the focus. Unfortunately, you're too late for that. I've already found it. And I'm keeping it for myself. The sleeper talked to me last night and made me his only tool. Now, I'll only serve the sleeper. No more Templars or Gurus. Only me alone. The novice Nyrus has gone mad. He said that the sleeper had talked to him and chosen him as his only servant. Then he attacked and tried to kill me. The might of the sleeper is so vast that unprepared souls despair. Only we Gurus have achieved the spiritual strength to bear the voice of the almighty sleeper. Now, take the focus back to Kor Kalom. He'll know what needs to be done. Iberian sent me. I have the focus. Ah, the focus at last. 
Now I can study the magic of these artifacts. If I only had enough secretion. Damn! Secretion? Yes. As you must know, I produced the magic potions for the invocation of the sleeper. For this purpose, I need the secretion from the Minecrawler's mandibles. You know what Minecrawlers are, don't you? Yes. Well, just a short time ago, I had a vision of the sleeper himself. He gave me a sign. He made me understand that there is a means other than the secretion from the mandibles. And he chose me to pass on this mission. You're not getting this mission from me. You're getting it from the sleeper. Impossible. Be silent, fool. He made me understand that the path I have embarked upon is right, but the means aren't strong enough. The right means can be found with the mine crawlers, but the mandibles are not sufficient. There must be something else. Have you never examined the mine crawlers? I mean, maybe there's another body part which contains more of the secretion. Of course, we have taken some mine crawlers apart, but only their mandibles seem to contain the secretion. There must be something else. Find their nest, and you'll find the answer. Where will I find the mine crawlers? In the old mine. What's the best way to fight the mine crawlers? There are Templars in the mine. They hunt the crawlers for their mandibles. Speak to Gornaved. He will help you. I can't tell you where to search, nor what to search for. But the sleeper will be with you. Well, that's a comfort. Hi, where are you off to? We take the mine crawler's secretion from our brothers in the old mine to Kor Kalam. We go to the old mine every day to collect it. What does Kor Kalam need the secretion for? As far as I know, with the aid of the potion, he'll prepare the novices for the great day. Since we are preparing for the great invocation, he can't get enough of the stuff. So they can brew a potion that will enable them to contact the sleeper. Very interesting. I like being kept up to date. I wonder if it will work. There must be a nest of mine crawlers somewhere here. There are probably dozens of nests here. Listen, I need to get to this nest now. I don't have time to see to it now. Our masher doesn't work anymore. The gear wheel broke a few hours ago. I've no idea where to get a new one. Just get me a gear wheel, then I'll see to your problem. A gear wheel? Where am I supposed to get that? No idea. I'm as much at a loss as you are. But there's an old broken masher in a side shaft. Maybe you'll be lucky there. I'll just have a look around. Just go to Askan and tell him to open the gate, so you can search the dark shafts. Just tell him. Everything's gonna be fine. Then he'll know that I've given you permission. Hey, how are you doing? Okay. So long as nobody don't get the idea of opening this gate. I don't need to hurt nobody either. It didn't matter how many quarters we killed. More and more just kept coming out. Sounds like there must be a nest somewhere near. Let me open the gate. No! This gate can only be opened with Ian's permission. Ashkan, everything's going to be fine. And best regards from Ian. Well then, if Ian is responsible for this, open the shaft now. We'll let the show begin.
you did a good job with the crawlers. You deserve to be admitted as a guard now. Just go over to the old camp and speak to Thoris about it. Hey, I'm glad you're here. Thoris wants to see you. What does he want? I'm sure he'll tell you soon enough. You have something to tell me? Yes. What you did in the mine not only shows some courage, but it also proves your strength and your fighting skills. I'm ready to accept you into the ranks of the guards. But first I must tell you something that I tell all new recruits. Listen carefully, I shall say this only once. So far you've tried to get by on your own. Those days are over now. I only expect one thing from my boys, that they stick together. Only by standing together will we be able to hold on to what we have. And to survive, you'll learn everything else in due course. Be ready and help out wherever help is needed or something needs to be done. Go and ask Stone to give you some armor and a sword. Oh, one more thing. Welcome to the guards. You're the smith, aren't you? That's right. I need armor. So, Thoris has accepted you, huh? Congratulations. Here, take this armor and sword. Welcome to the guards. I found eggs belonging to a crawler queen. I knew it. My vision was a sign. The queen's eggs must contain the strong secretion. Excellent. With it, I can create a potion to contact the sleeper. What about my reward? Oh, right. Thank you. I mean a tangible reward. Okay, okay. What do you want? Or. Take this ore as a sign of gratitude from the entire Brotherhood. Can we start invoking the Sleeper now? No, I haven't found a method to charge the focus yet. We are missing the ancient knowledge about these artifacts. Do you mean to say I collected the eggs for nothing? No, listen to me. There is an almanac which contains what we need to know. We bought the book off the Fire Mage Caristo from the old camp. However, it was stolen when they tried to bring it here from the old camp. I had charged Talas, a novice, with collecting the book for me. But he was robbed. He let me down. But I've given him another chance. He must get the stolen almanac back. Talk to him. He'll need any help he can get. Who stole the almanac? Talas told me he was mugged by black goblins. It sounds strange, but not impossible. Where can I find Talas? He's in the forecourt, at the Temple Hill, trying to get people to help him. What will I get for it? Have I not already proven my generosity to you? You will receive a just reward. You're Talus, the one who was mugged? Leave me alone. I don't want to talk about it. I can help you to bring the almanac back. Really? I was mugged by goblins, and now I'm supposed to go there and get the book back. I have a suggestion to make. I'll show you the way to the almanac, so you can get it back. Agreed. Those damn little beasts live in a cave behind this bridge. Be careful. You're not coming with me? I'll wait here and, uh, <clears throat> cover our retreat. The almanac. Well done. Let's go back to the camp. You better take the almanac to Cor Cologne right away. I found the book. Good work. You have all we need. I'll complete the preparations now. Where will the invocation take place? Wait till nighttime. Then come to the temple courtyard. We will gather there to invoke the Almighty Sleeper. What about my payment? This should satisfy your greed for ore. I'll be seeing you. May the sleeper enlighten you. The long time of waiting is now over. 
Through his immeasurable powers, the sleeper has led us to this place so we can witness his awakening. The artifact he showed us in a vision will focus our spiritual powers. Unite your thoughts so the sleeper will hear our prayers, for his is the path that leads to freedom, and we are his chosen people. May the sleeper awaken! to show us the way to freedom. Yes, what about it? Was it the path to freedom? Silence! It is obvious. The path to freedom leads through the orcs. The sleeper has shown us a place. We must find it. Not far from here, there is an entry to an orc cave. We'll start searching there. The Sleeper will be with us. What does that mean? Shall we fight these monsters? I'll go with the Templars. You novices shall pray for us. What happens now? The vision was very vague. It brought us more riddles than answers. But one thing was perfectly clear. I saw an orc in a cave. There is an old abandoned orcish place of worship nearby. The orcs used to bury their dead there. That's why we call this system of caves the Orc Cemetery. The Guru Baal Lakor has gone there with some Templars. Maybe we'll find something there to help us understand the vision. I need somebody to have a look around that place and to report to me about the situation. Why don't you go yourself? You are the leader of the Templars. My task is to protect the Enlightened One. I must stay here with Iberian and guard him. You have done good service for the camp. I trust you more than anybody else here. I'm asking you to go to the Orc Cemetery and report to me what the Templars have found. I'll get on my way right now. Before you go, take this ring. May it protect you in battle. Angar sent me. But what about Iberian? Has he come to yet? No, he's still unconscious. We need to solve the riddle of these caves. After all these dreadful losses, I can't go back to the community empty-handed. If our brotherhood sent you, maybe you could help me with the further investigation of this tomb. Where are the other Templars? Dead. I unwittingly led them to their destruction. I hope this sleeper will pardon me. I'll help you. Good. Excellent. There are three tunnels leading out of this hall. 
A volley. I found a piece of parchment. Looks like an orcish spell scroll, but it's been torn in two. There must be another half somewhere. Hmm. This tunnel leads to a dead end. Maybe you'll find some clues here that'll help us further. There is a torn piece of parchment here. Very good. It's the other half of the orcish spell scroll. What do we do with the two pieces now? The two halves match, but I can't translate these orcish signs. The big hall we passed through earlier seemed a very strange place. Let's just go back there. Hang on. This is interesting. Well, I can't find anything interesting in this place. Be silent. And take a look at the ornamental runes in this cave. Yeah, these should suffice to translate the two halves of the parchment. I have it. It's a teleportation spell. It seems that it can only unfold its powers in a certain place. Strange. close to our target. Behind this wall. That must be it. My magic powers are still very weak. Use the Orcish teleportation spell here, in front of this wall. Okay. My instincts have not deceived me. And does the answer to the strange invocation of the sleeper really lie here? It looks more like another burial chamber to me. We need to proceed. No! This can't be true. There's nothing here but... but dust and... and bones. No! Master, speak to me! Sleeper, reveal yourself. No! This is all your fault. Your unholy presence has enraged the almighty sleeper. Now I shall have to suffer for your sacrilegious behavior. I need to make a sacrifice for the master. A human sacrifice. Then he'll be sure to enlighten me and make me his servant. Die, infidel! Yeah! <laughs> Completely crazy. I've been to the Orc Cemetery. There was nothing there. No sleeper, no sign, no nothing. What about Baal Lukor and the Templars? They're all dead. Dead? But why? What happened? The entire cave system is teeming with orcs. They killed all of the Templars. Baal Lukor and myself survived. But suddenly Baal Lukor went mad. He screamed that the sleeper had ordered him to kill me. It would appear he couldn't handle the fact that he hadn't found anything. I don't believe that the influence of the sleeper can cause such violent deeds. It cannot, cannot, irrelevant. The most important thing is that Baal Lacour did not succeed in his madness. How is Iberian doing? Iberian is dead. Our spiritual leader has left us. I have always trusted Iberian. Shortly before he died, he placed all his hopes on the escape plan of the Magicians of Water. Then we should support the Magicians of Water in their plan. They'll need the Focus and the Almanac. Both things are still in Kor Kalam's possession. Where is Kor Kalam? In a rage, he set out with a couple of Templars to find his own way to the Sleeper. Damn! How can we get the Focus now? I believe he left the book and Focus in his laboratory. Here is the key for the chest. Take this rune of magic as a sign of our gratitude for your great deeds. This will allow you to teleport fast and easily to the courtyard of our temple.
I'm not as stupid as you think. You'll soon be through it. Come out. Show yourself. Shit! Guard! Where'd he go? This can't be. It's impossible. Here you go. No, I don't believe it. A precious piece. What about my payment? <laughs> That's right. I must say, you do seem to have a nerve. That was our deal. Take care. Do you intend to go through this gate? Do you intend to stop me? No, but you should know what's waiting for you. This is not like in the old camp, and not like being with the sect loonies either. And what am I expecting here? There are no guards or Templars to look after you. It's every man for himself. The only ones who stick together are us mercenaries. What do the mages do? They investigate the magic characteristics of the ore our scrapers collect in the mine. As far as I know, they want to blow the whole damn ore mound to free us from the barrier. You have a massive ore mound here? You could say that. We could buy the king's wife for that. But we don't give a damn about trading the ore with that old fart. We want to get out of here. How are things going at the moment? The scrapers are still collecting. Once they have enough ore, we'll blow the mound up. But you won't get anywhere near it, I can tell you. The mages and our people guard the ore day and night. I was just curious. I need to go on. Watch your back. Hey, a new face. Who are you? I am Gorn, mercenary of the magicians. What do you have to do as a mercenary of the magicians? Lee has made a deal with the magicians. He hires the best fighters to be found in the colony, which means us. We take care that the scrapers can mine the ore without being bothered. I have an important message for the magicians of water. Then you should talk to Satyrus. He's the highest of the water mages and spends all day studying some writings or other. But no matter how important your message is, the guards of the upper level won't let you through to him. Can't you put in a good word for me? I can't, but Kronos, the Keeper of the Ore, might be able to give you permission. Where can I find this Keeper of the Ore? Kronos is usually at the grid over the big ore mound, but he's a bit arrogant. You'll have to convince him that your message is important. Thanks for your help. See you later. Greetings, magician. May the blessing of Adonis be with you. I have an important message for Satyrus. What could be so important that our spiritual leader should interrupt his important studies for it? The gurus have recognized that they're praying to an evil archdemon. All of a sudden, they now think their sleeper is a demon? Should they be right, all of us in the colony here might be in grave danger. You must report to Satyrus at once. He must decide what is to be done. Where can I find Satyrus? Go to the upper level. Tell the guards there that you have my permission to pass. The password is Tetriandoch. Satyrus is by the pentagram. He spends almost all day there, studying how to blow up the big ore mound. Stop! Nobody may pass without the password! Kronos has given me permission. If that's so, He'd have given you the password. The password is Tetriandach. That's right. You may pass. Greetings, magician. I have important news from the Brotherhood's camp. Iberian is dead. He died during the ritual invocation of the sleeper. Iberian dead? That's bad news. Very bad news indeed. Who's leading the Brotherhood now? That power-hungry and deceitful core Kalam? No. Kalam has turned his back on the Brotherhood. He's taken some Templars with him. Nobody knows where they've gone. Why is that? He was in second place after Yuburion. Certain events have convinced the Gurus that their way is the wrong one. Their god seems to be an evil archdemon. One of the Gurus nearly killed me under the influence of the Sleeper, although I had saved his life just briefly beforehand. Kor Kalam was the only guru who didn't want to admit the true nature of the hellish creature. That's why he's left the camp in the swamp. I see. Well, at least we're lucky in this regard. Kor Angar is a good man. He's tough, but honest. If anybody could prevent the Brotherhood from falling apart after this spiritual catastrophe, he can. I have this focus. You're holding the key that can unlock all our bonds. 
It's one of the five focus stones which were used to create the magic barrier. And with the help of the very same focusing power of these stones, we'll tear down the Great Wall of Energy. But won't that use up an awful lot of power? True. But in all these years, we've untiringly collected ore instead of trading it for luxuries with our jailers. As you must know, each ore nugget contains a certain amount of magic power. With the aid of the energy thus amassed in the ore mound, we'll be able to destroy the magic barrier. Sounds dangerous. The explosion will be merely of a magical nature. It will only destroy everything that's been modified by the magic inside the barrier. There is no danger to us human beings. I have this almanac. Iberian used it to charge the focus. Very good. We need the knowledge contained in this book to charge the five original focus stones. I'll take the almanac. What are you going to do with the focus and the almanac now? Nothing. We need the four remaining focus stones first. Unfortunately, we don't have any of these four magic stones. I'm willing to find the four remaining focus stones for you. After all, I'm quite keen on getting out of here sometime myself. I must warn you, searching for them will prove as difficult as it will be dangerous. Since conflict with the old camp is getting worse every day, I cannot give you any mercenary either. You'll be totally on your own. Well, that's nothing unusual for me. I'll find a way to organize these things. Your confidence does you credit, but you'll need some items to assist you. Take this map here. It's old. But on it, you'll see the original locations of the focus stones when the barrier was created. Also, this spell scroll will enable you to travel back to our camp faster. May you return in one piece? Greetings. My friend Lester from the Swamp Camp told me about your great deeds there. I am impressed. You've become very strong. I do my best. Ah, uh, yes. Always modest, aren't you? What are you doing here? There is an ancient ring of stone not far from here. Some sort of tomb? Yes, something like that. In its center lies the entrance to an underground vault. I'm looking for a focus stone. That almost sounds as if we were both looking for something in the same place. Don't tell me you're after the focus stone as well. No, I'm not interested in the focus stone. I'm looking for an orcish talisman. We should seek out the tomb together. You get the talisman, and I'll have the focus stone. Mm, well, I hoped you would say that. I went down there once and I was nearly killed. One man on his own cannot do much there. I see. Well, which way leads to the Ring of Stone? Good. You have the talisman. Thank you, my friend. I never forget anybody who helped me. I'll go back to the old camp. Perhaps we'll meet there. Hey, what are you doing here? I came here by order of the Magicians of Water. I'm looking for magical artifacts, so-called focus stones. Satyrus and the other magicians from the new camp want to use it to detonate the barrier in order to free us from this imprisonment. I'll believe that when I see it with my own eyes. I feel the same. But tell me, why did you come here? I'm weighing up if it's worthwhile paying a visit to the mountain fort. There is a document I'd like to get. On the other hand, it's quite risky to go in there. We could have a look around the fort together. That's a good idea. You go first. I'll stay near you. focus you're looking for is up there. Right, looks like a focus platform. Hmm. It's not that easy to reach it. I'll go and have a look up there. Hmm. I found the document. Hey, well done. How can I reach the focus? Master Eberian used to say, a student tries to move things with his hands and feet. The master moves them with his spiritual powers. Now both of us have what we wanted. I'll stay here to read the old books. We'll meet again.
Hi, Greenhorn. As you can see, the colony is quite a small place. You can't help bumping into people all the time. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm trying to track down an old legend. A uh, legend? Yes. Milton, my pal from the old camp, told me that monks used to live here. Of course, that was long before the barrier was created. I'm looking for a magic focus. It must be somewhere in this area. The thing you're looking for might be in the old ruined monastery beyond the canyon. We could go on together. Good idea. This area is crowded with snappers. When they're on their own, they're no problem for an experienced hunter. Most of the time they hunt in packs, though. A pack can even tear the cleverest sword fighter to pieces. So we'll go together? Come with me. Oh, that struck the right place! Behind you! These beasts are really as thick as mud. Keep it up! Wonderful control, boy! Now you'll get to know me! Shit, what a beast! Where did that come from? Watch out! That was hard work. Yeah. So you found your magic artifact. Yeah, I have to take the focus to the magicians of water. They need it. This is where we go our separate ways. I want to stay here for a while and have a look around. But I'm sure we'll meet again. See you later, my friend. Hey! I thought you were dead! Sometimes I thought so myself. A lot of things have happened since we last met. I hear you've contributed a great deal to the final invocation. Obviously, you're quite well informed. Better than you think. Now you're looking for the focus? Yes, there must be one somewhere around here. I know where to find one. There's just one problem. I see. W what do you want? You've really learned your lesson, but that's not what I meant. No? What's the problem then? It's three tons of a problem. Let's go. You'll understand in a moment. I'll attract his attention. That was fantastic! You're really good. And now, go get the focus. I'll make sure that there won't be any other awkward surprises. You found the focus! Very good! I think it's time for me to stop by at the old camp again. Good luck. Make sure you stay alive. We'll meet again. Ruined monastery. Gorn the mercenary was there. He gave me a hand in searching. Brilliant. Now we have all five focus stones. Your deeds are invaluable to our camp. Be assured of my eternal gratitude. Can you blast the ore mound now? We now have all the artifacts we need to fulfill our plan. But the barrier was created by 12 magicians. There are not enough magicians in the circle of water to control the powerful energies and to guide them onto the right course. What can we do? I'm aware that you've already done much for our community. We owe you greatly, but in the interest of all the inhabitants of the colony, I need to ask one more favor of you. One more favor? Yes. Go to the old camp and try to win some of the magicians of the Circle of Fire for our cause. Magicians of fire? Why should they want to give up their easy life? The destruction of the barrier would rob them of their powerful position. That is the exact reason why you must accomplish this mission. You know people from all the camps of the colony. Remind the magicians of fire of the old times when we study the arts of magic together. You're the boss of the mercenaries, aren't you? That's right, boy. There was a time when I led a very different life. I was one of the best generals of this country. I've spent my whole life fighting for my country. But the nobles didn't like me because the king listened to my advice and they knew I posed a threat to their dirty business. I hadn't counted on their insidiousness. They used the king's wife to get me. I was blamed for her pointless murder. 
King Rohar had no other choice. The services I had rendered my country saved me from the gallows, but they robbed me of my freedom. One day I'll be free again, then I shall return and take revenge. I shall have my revenge. Hey, shh, be quiet. Hello, Diego. Yeah. What's the meaning of all this hide-and-seek business? Haven't you heard? Heard what? The old mine caved in, and there are plans to raid the free mine. What? What are you talking about? How could the old mine cave in? That's a long story. Just tell me about it. It's not the first long story I've had to listen to. Well then, one of the diggers who survived it told us that they were digging, and they hit an underground river on the bottom level. When the water gushed into the mine, one of the supports broke, and the entire upper section collapsed. Only a handful of people managed to escape from the mine. Luckily, I was in the Ore Baron's house when they got the news that the mine had collapsed. Gomez was hopping mad when he heard about the accident, and he was afraid that his position could be at stake. Of course. Who controls the ore controls the colony as well. That's right. Since he has no source of income anymore, the goods from the outside world won't come in anymore either. Nobody will work for him if he doesn't get another source of income soon. And that's the reason for the raid on the free mine? To be honest, that's Gomez's only chance to maintain his power. Two hours ago, two dozen guards set out for the free mine. But they never get through the fortifications of the new camp. They don't need to get through them. A few months ago, they found a path that leads over the mountains and right to the free mine. And nobody else knows about it. But what happened to the fire mages? Cristo and the other mages were the only people in the camp to remain rational. They forbade the raid and demanded a settlement with the two other camps. They forbade Gomez to raid the free mine? Well, yes. Cristo and the others shouldn't have been so self-confident. Gomez didn't trust them anymore and had them perfidiously assassinated. What? That's mad. I need to warn the new camp. You already got a plan, right? Well, yes. Let's go. Are we nearly there yet? Well, here we are. Ah, it's good to see you again. Lester, how are you doing, my friend? It's not that bad. All dead, all dead. I couldn't help them. I was, was not there. I... Calm down, Milton. I've already met Diego in front of the old camp. Okay, keep cool, Milton. Keep cool. What are you doing here, Milton? Well, when I returned from our adventure under the Ring of Stone, the guards at the gate suddenly attacked me. They shouted words like, traitor and collaborator at me had a very narrow escape what have you got planned now we'll stay here for a while to warn some more friends so they don't bump straight into the guards to be honest out of here, what was that or i'll call the guards are you planning to make a fool out of me man hey gorn ah it's you how's it going good thanks there's nothing more valuable than good friends in troubled times like these what are you doing here after I returned from the ruined monastery, I wanted to drop by at Ockels, the boss of the Free Mine. But when I arrived, there were corpses lying everywhere. I just spotted some guards entrenching themselves at the entrance to the mine. How could so many mercenaries be defeated by only two dozen guards? It looked like an ambush to me. Nobody would have expected attackers to cross the mountains. The element of surprise can multiply the force of a troop. What happens now? Are you planning a counterattack? Not yet, but the day will come. Our entire defense strategy will have to be changed. That takes time. Until Lee and his people are ready, I'll join Kord's provisional guard. I'd best be going. I still got some business to do. All right. I'll wait at the entrance to the mine and make sure nobody tries anything. If ever you're looking for me, I'll be on guard there. Take care. I'm glad you returned. Something terrible has happened. Let me guess, the free mine has been assaulted by the guards from the old camp. Nobody saw them coming? Hang on. How? But of course. You found out about it in the old camp. Gorn arrived here just before you did. What could have caused Gomez to dare to take such an aggressive step? He should be aware that such a heinous act can only provoke war. The old mine collapsed after water seeped in. Collapsed? Then the whole thing makes sense. Gomez has his back to the wall. Now that he doesn't have anything left to lose, He's more dangerous than ever. Gomez has had all of the Magicians of Fire killed. Had them killed? Why in Beliar's name would he do a thing like that? They were against the attack on the Free Mine and opposed Gomez. Then we're all doomed. Without the other six Magicians, we'll never be able to control the concentrated power of the massive ore mound. But in spite of that, 
I thank you for passing this dangerous message on to me. When you sent me to the Magicians of Fire, you mentioned there was somebody. Well, I had hoped we could make it without his help, but the way things are developing... Who is he? All right, all right. Many, many years ago... Give me the shortened version. Be patient. Well, when we, the Twelve Magicians, created the barrier back then, our magic powers were directed and controlled by a Thirteenth Magician. A Thirteenth Magician? I thought there were only twelve. Most people who did not experience the early days of the colony believed that. This thirteenth magician was our leader. All this took place before we were divided into the circles of fire and water. But he left the old camp, which was once the only camp of the colony. Why? He started to investigate the invocation of undead and magical creatures. Gomez was not the only one who began to worry. Most of the other magicians opposed him as well, and his unholy deeds. What happened then? Unlike Gomez, he was no butcher, so he avoided the conflict and left. Where is this magician today? He lives in seclusion, in his tower in the middle of the Orc land. His name is Zardus. Hardly anybody remembers the old stories about him. The ones who do just call him the Necromancer. He's the only one that can help us now. I'll make my way to Zardus and ask him for help. There is one other problem. Over the years, we've tried to get in touch with Zardus several times, but it looks like he prefers to remain undisturbed. What does that mean? None of the messengers ever return from his tower. You'll have to find a way to get past his creatures. Don't worry. I'll be back. Before you go, take some armor. You've done much for our camp. This armor is a good piece of work. It'll protect your body well. Welcome to the new camp, mercenary. Damn! Hold on, who, who, who's talking to me? You are talking to me? How did you get into my head? You were what? The servant of your master? Is your master's name perhaps Zardus? Oh right, so names are not important. Okay, I'll just assume that this here is the Tower of Zardus. You want me to be silent? Me? Unworthy? What kind of test? Ah, I understand. Whoever wants to talk to your master must prove worthy first. Victory over what? Victory over the elements? Stone? Ice? Fire? Right! You're speaking in riddles! You want evidence for the victory over the elements, fire, ice, and stone? Perfection? I'm worthy? If that's the case, I'd like to speak to your master now. Counter evidence? What kind of counter evidence? A rune? A rune for me? Well, then I'll accept the rune of teleportation as a sign of worthiness. dares to disturb me in my studies? My name is... I don't wish to know your name. It's insignificant. All that matters is that you're the first person in years to have solved my golem's riddles. I was sent by Saturus. We need your help. The magicians of water plan to use their big ore mound. The ore mound is not the solution. It isn't? No. If the explosion of the ore mound doesn't avert the great danger... Forget the ore mound. If Caristo and Saturus hadn't wasted their time fighting over foolish and vain issues throughout the past years... They'd all know what I know now. Which is? None of the Twelve Magicians ever stopped to wonder why the formation of the barrier got beyond their control, or why it assumed such gigantic proportions. Did you find out why that happened? Well, one thing is certain. The answer lies deep beneath the Orc Town. The Orc Town? Orcs are not animals, as many people think. Their culture is as old as the human culture. A few centuries ago, five Orc Shaman invoked a very old Archdemon which they hoped would give their clan the power to defeat their enemies. This archdemon, was it the Sleeper? The orcs gave him that name much later, but I won't tell you why they did it, or why they are now terrified by the supernatural creature. Why not? I believe you could be... No, to be really sure, you'll have to perform another task. Which task? Listen carefully. 
the orcs have exiled one of their shaman from the town. What does this orc shaman have to do with my task? He'll tell you the rest of the story about the sleeper. An orc shaman is hardly likely to be keen on do talking. Do you want me to help you or do you not? Well, yes, but... Then never question my words again. Find the shaman. He's not on good terms with his brothers in the orc town, so he may listen to you before turning you into a living torch. Very comforting. Go to the old citadel in the east. You can't miss it. It's on top of a high mountain, which can be seen from a distance. They call it the old citadel, but there's hardly anything left of it other than the foundation walls. It's been a ruin for many decades. Orcs want kill me. Old brothers, today enemies. How do you know our language? Urshak be slave of humans in mine. Many winters ago. Why do your brothers fight you? Urshak in disfavor. They smirch creed in Krushak. Believe Krushak bad demon. What does Krushak mean? Humans call sleep. You mean sleeper? Yes, humans say Sleeper. What do you know about the Sleeper? Be five brothers. Be many winters ago. Be sons of spirit. Like Urshak. You mean five shaman? Call Krushak. One defeat clan of enemy. Five brothers that built temple under earth for Krushak. That's what Zardos must have meant when he spoke about the entrance being in the Orc Town. What happened in the underground temple? Brothers that give heart to Krushak, but Krushak be bad. Krushak curse all who build temple. Krushak now have heart of brothers. Heart now be power for Krushak. What happened to the workers who built the temple? Krushak curse all. Workers too. Be all dead and live. Both at same time. Well, looks like I'll have to fight my way through. Brothers home very strong. Brothers be very many. Stranger no go. Many warriors, stranger die. Okay, okay, but I have to find a way into the temple. Urshak, no way. Stranger where Ulumulu. Ulumulu? What's an Ulumulu? The sign of friendship. Brothers respect Ulumulu. Stranger where Ulumulu. Then stranger no die. Where can I get this Ulumulu? Stranger, go see friend of Urshak. Friend of Urshak, kill Ulumulu. Stranger wear Ulumulu, then stranger no die. Yeah, yeah, I have the no die bit all right, but where can I find your friend? Friend of Urshak in mind of humans. Friend no run away with Urshak. Friend be ill then. Were you held in the free mine? Urshak think people call so. I need to go on. Thanks for your help. Urshak say thanks to stranger. Stranger save Urshak. Stranger now, friend of Urshak. Urshak now live here. Friend come when need help. Take care. I have the answers from the Orc Shaman. Well, then report. The five Orc Shaman that invoked the Sleeper built him an underground temple. His entrance is in the Orc Town. That's right. Ungrateful as he was, he tore out their hearts and condemned them and the workers to an eternal existence as undead creatures. Very good, very good. The orcs locked the temple and started making sacrifices to appease the demon. Have you found a way to enter the temple? Yes, there's an orc who... No details. Go to the underground temple. There you'll find the only way to destroy the barrier. I don't understand. Didn't you call on me to help with the destruction of the barrier? That's right, but... Then go. A lot of time has already been wasted. Go into the underground temple to find the answer. I'm glad you've come. I am Riordian, the alchemist. Gorn asked me to send you to him as soon as you arrived. What's up? He has a plan to free the occupied mine. Please see him as soon as possible. Ah, it's you. You're just in time. We're preparing our counterattack. Taking back the free mine is the first step. The first step? What will be the second? As soon as the mine is ours again, we'll start looking for the mountain pass that Gomez's people used in the raid. When the pass is closed, the situation will be under control again. Lee asked me to give you a message. Although you aren't one of us, you have done our camp a great service and proved your worth more than once. We're offering you the chance of carrying out this mission. I'll go with you. Together we can make it. Why not? I need to get into the mine anyway. 
whatever your reasons may be, I'm glad we're dealing with this thing together. Oh, I nearly forgot. The rogue wolf wants to talk to you urgently before we leave for the mine. Then I'd better go there now. You do that. I'll wait for you right here. Gorn said you wanted to talk to me urgently. I'm glad you dropped by before you left. Before I go where? Before you go to visit the not-so-free mine. What's up? I've had an idea how to produce a completely new armor. Oh, and how's that? The mine crawler's armor plates are the hardest material I know. I don't mean the small, harmless specimens found in Gomez's buried mine. No, not them. There's a far more dangerous kind in our mine. The armor of these beasts is nearly impenetrable. If you could bring me some of these armor plates, I could try to make armor from them. How can I remove the plates from those beasts? Well, that's quite easy. The back plates are only joined to the body around the edges. Just take a razor blade and cut along the dotted line. Okay, I get it. I'll see if I can find those armor plates. Okay, let's go and teach the unwelcome guests of the mine a lesson. I didn't expect you to say anything else. Here, take this key. It opens the gatehouse in front of the entrance to the mine. You go first, I'll follow. Let's fight. Hold on. Do you see all these corpses? You go down to the entrance to the mine. I'll stay here and make sure that we don't get a nasty surprise thrown at us from behind. When you're down there, I'll follow. Okay. Hey, look at that. It's the traitor that switched camps. Hey guys, let's take him out. It's payday. You won't get any yeah. older. You're damn persistent. I heard you fighting and went after you immediately. An old acquaintance, but that account is settled. Good. Open the gate. I'll watch out. Done for. and said you could make an ulu mulu for me. Stranger, strong warrior B. Tarak, make ulu mulu. I finally found a way to fix those armor plates to each other. Does that mean that the armor is finished? Yeah, man, here it is. Really seems to be harder than any other armor in our camp. Thanks, I owe you something. That's all right. I always find ways of covering my expenses. That's an interesting orc standard you have there. Is that from the former orc slave in the mine? It's an orcish symbol for friendship. I want to enter the orc town with it. I hope for your sake that the orcs will respect this... thing. I have found a way into the underground temple. You have? That's remarkable. You have become very powerful, stronger than anybody else inside the barrier. Maybe you really are the man the orcish prophecies told of. Urshak, greet friend. Friend have Ulumulu. Be good. Friend no forget carry Ulumulu in hand when go over bridge.
infidel in the house of the master. Damned be you! You be damned, you stinky moldy carpet! to be seen whose end it's going to be, you worm-bitten meatloaf. No! Sleeper will be wide awake soon. I will stop you! Damn! I am not causing the slightest damage. I'd better get out of here fast. I found this strange sword. Show it to me. That's interesting. It has Eurizio written on it. I've heard of this sword. It's a weapon from the olden days, when the human race was still young. The weapon was forged from an unknown material, and there's nothing written about who created it. This blade was said to possess unbelievable powers, but I don't notice any magical aura. Eurizio possessed unbelievable powers? It was written that the owner of the weapon was able to pierce the strongest armor, and to overcome even the most powerful of protection spells. How could the orcs get this powerful weapon into their hands? It's claimed that the orcs took it from a powerful warlord. They didn't know how to use it, but they did hide it. Is it possible to restore the former powers of the weapon? You need a very strong magical source of power for that purpose. You mean strong enough to detonate the magic barrier with? About that strong. Besides, you'll need a very special magic formula in order to transfer the power. Give me some time, and I'll create the magic formula. Meanwhile, I'll be hunting around for better armor. These patchwork minecrawler plates have been pierced too often in the underground temple. You should go to my old tower. Your old tower? It sank below one of the eastern lakes during one of the earthquakes. There are still some artifacts inside it. I never made any effort to salvage them. Thank you. I'll be on my way now. Greetings, my friend. I haven't seen you for ages. Milton, I need your help. I need the magic powers of the ore mound, and I don't think it would be a good move to ask the other magicians of water. You're joking. This is no time for jokes. I'm deadly serious. I've seen Zardas, the necromancer. I'm working under his orders. Zardis, you're beginning to scare me. Nobody has spoken to him since he left the old camp. What do you need the powers of the ore mound for? I want to transfer them to this sword here. Wow, what a weapon. But we'll get into trouble with Saturus and the other magicians. We'll have to take that risk. It really is very, very important. Important for all inhabitants of the colony. 
It will get us out of here. You have to trust me. All right. After all you have done for us, I trust you completely. Besides, it seems Zardis trusts you as well. Meet me down at the Ore Mound and don't tell anybody. Good. Let's meet at the Ore Mound. See you there. Have you completed the magic formula to reactivate Eurytseal? It's done, but you won't be able to use it by yourself. It has to be spoken by a magician while you touch the power source with the sword. Unbelievable! The plain gray gem is shimmering bluish now. But our little operation here seems to have attracted some here? attention. You, know you should teleport yourself directly out of here. What about you? Don't worry about me. I'll think of something. I've reactivated Eurytseal. It's incredible. The sword has regained its former powers. Now you have a really powerful weapon. Yeah, but I'll have to look around for some support. Looks like this might become quite a bloody adventure. I like that weapon. Hands off, pal. <laughs> I would like to tell you everything, but I don't have the time right now. I'm in a hurry. Are you ready? As ready as one can be for this crazy plan. Together we can make it. Then let's do it. Boy, they'll be raging! <laughs> I'll send you traveling first, you moldy maggot's idea of paradise. We don't have much time, so listen carefully. How did you... The sleeper is not far. I had to use all my power to get here. I have translated the Orcus prophecies and discovered what the five hearts are about. The five hearts of the priest you defeated were placed in five shrines. These shrines may be opened, but only the ancient blades carried by the priest can harm the hearts. Now you must pierce the hearts with the five blades. Only thus will you be able to drive the sleeper from this world. I understand. Hurry, the crazed Kor Kalam and his misled disciples are here. They have gathered in the Hall of the Sleeper. I've bled enough. Nobody can stop me now. The might of the Sleeper is growing stronger and stronger. What's wrong with you? I cannot. I must. At last, we meet again. My master has already told me of your arrival. He can sense that you are near. We will not let you foil our plans. The world is about to witness the awakening of the Redeemer, and nobody can stop him. All the infidels out there will pay the price, and you shall have the honor of being the first to pay! Sleeper! When the sleeper was banished into his own dimension, I returned to daylight. The magic barrier had fallen. 
But for me, the adventure had only just begun. The others only want to get rid of me all the time. I'm really grateful to you. You're like a big brother to me. I never had a big brother. Or a small one. My parents didn't want me. But I'm sure it was difficult for them. Do you like animals as well? <laughs> They're not into that one bit. That's why they locked me in here. <laughs> <laughs> 